man. You know what day today is? February 3rd? Yes! 2023. 23-23. Do you know what the significance of February 3rd is? No. Really? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. It's the day after Groundhog Day. It is the day the music died. 1959. Wow. That's funny because this video is probably being released in what, like May? <laughs> yeah, a April 12th, I think this is coming out, actually. <laughs> I've been looking at these really strange whiskey bottles on the shelf for the better part of a year saying well, what is this gimmicky stuff you know we, we had the third that but you know <laughs> well our team players aren't really team players look at these bottles aren't they cool we'll turn it a little bit they're Let's kind see. of a gimmicky all right that one's this is a uh, lip service it's a straight rye this is the burning chair which we'll be doing today it's a bourbon whiskey it's 88 proof. 88 proof. Now, oh, the burning chair. And what's the name of the company? Savage and Cook. And that is a business that Dave Finney started. You know who Dave Finney is? No. I think I'm pronouncing that name right. He owned the Prisoner Wine Company. You ever seen these? I've seen those. Uh, you know, pretty good red wines. But then I guess he sold it. And he started... This other company, uh, this is the, like the Orn Group. No, what is it? Orn Swift Sellers. You guys got a lot of interesting artwork. Yeah, of right? Models. This is Machete. So we're going to actually put this against, this is a $50 bottle of wine. We're going to put this against a $500 bottle of wine that somebody gave you? I uh, yeah, nice friends. I don't know. So I can't wait to do that video. That will probably come out the week after this. So what was the 12 plus 7? What's that? I don't know. The 19th of April? That's what year you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, Dave Finney. Uh, this is a four-year-old. All right. 88 proof. Okay. Mash bill is 75% corn. Isn't that high corn? That's a lot of corn. And then 21% rye. All right. That's kind of high rye. Yeah. And 4% malted barley. Let's see if we get that on the nose. They put the barley in there, the malted barley, because they, uh, it helps uh, turn the yeast into alcohol, I think. Is like, that why they put a little yeah, bit of barley yeah. in everything? Yeah. I was always wondering. Yeah. Why it was like such so this is done in new American oak, right? And then it's finished in his Cabernet barrels. Oh, cool. I guess he's got this island up there in California where he gets a, like a freshwater spring runs through it. And he gets Ooh. his own water. Uh, it'd be a great distillery to go check out. Sounds fancy. Yeah. This uh, goes for about $50. Reasonable. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got in this nose. The color, a little bit of amber in there, right? It's a little light, you know, probably because it's 88 proof. Well, it's a little light, but not, not considering the proof. I think it's gotten darkened up in the Cabernet barrels. It's a little amber, a little, a little gold. Bit. Nice. That nose is just delightful. With I, know, I like the 88 proof because you can really get... Yeah. You can snip it hard without burning. Yeah, exactly. What do you got? I'm getting rye spices, the barrel spice. I get a nice, I get a, like almost like a wine, wine spice. I would have yeah. said, if, I would have said, guess a sherry cast, but I know it's not a sherry cast. What's it? You said Cabernet? Yeah. Mm. And I get like a nice dark stone fruit. Like yeah. Like a plumber or a, oh God, just so good. I'm going right in for it. What do you got? Right. Let's go. Mmm. Mmm. You get that dark red wine. Right, I get a dry mouth, a dry mouth feel on it. No, mm. not me. It's, I get it from the red wine. No, not at all. I get a sweet dark fruit. I still mm. get the vanilla and the caramel. Wow. And still the rye really comes through nicely. Like I might think this was a finished rye if I if I didn't know better. This this is so good. So, huh? And the finish is nice too. I still get that dark red wine and the, and the rye spice. I think the finish is my favorite part because it lingers. It's good. I think the nose I get more complexity, uh, but it, it's very good nose. It's very good palate. Very good finish. Nice mouth feel. It's got like a red wine finish to it. Big time. It really like Big stands time. out. Yeah. I wonder how long he's leaving it in those barrels. So you like this? Love this. And the LSA. Woo! Woo! Yeah, you like it, right? I do. 
so much so that I bought it in a cast strength. Yeah, well, thanks for the spoiler alert, because I'm bringing that up, and we're going to try it. Let's do it. So, last video we did was the uh, Lafroig, mm. and do you recall what you said? Mm -mm. You are mm. done with finished whiskey. I did say that, because yes, sir. my biggest thing is I think they take things that are inconsistent and finish them. And he's got some other whiskey, right? Uh, let's say he's got like a, something called like a Guerrera. Those that are higher end whiskeys, right? We saw on their website. Mm -hmm. I'd love to get my hand on those, but those are like I haven't seen those locally. No, they're heavily priced. So I'm I'm a little upset that I've just been snubbing these for this long because of the gimmicky looking bottles. Because uh, I don't know, these bottles are beautiful, and the corks oh, are, and the corks cork. are glass. The corks are cool. That's, That's a, a really it's really cool cork. Really neat. I think the whole package is is absolutely gorgeous. So these cash drinks are store picks from a, a, a pack store in Minnesota called Haskell's. We love Haskell's. And I order a little too much from Haskell's. We don't live anywhere near Minnesota, but they keep those bottles I, keep coming in I from keep Haskell's. Getting, yeah, oh man, I love it. I get the obtainium from there. We're yeah. gonna do the obtainium rye. Um, I think this is the cash drink. Yes, sir. Not much difference in the uh, color. You're absolutely right. Zero difference in the color. I wouldn't say zero. This is, it's a little dark. This is a hundred and... We never could tell what that said. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. The numbers are hard. hard. <laughs> it's weird. Is it 103 proof? Is it... 116? I see a 1 and then a 6 and then an O part 3, but there's no way it's... 160 proof. No, it would have a thing on it. Right, it'd have the hazmat label. It does look like a 160. See if you can focus in on that. Let the uh, let the interweb tell us what it is. <sighs> it looks like a 160.3. <laughs> it must have put it in the wrong spot. It must be like a 100.3 or it's something. It's going to be like 106 or something. Whatever, that's okay. Uh, we'll be the judge of what proof it is. Yeah, it doesn't bite you at all. A little more ethanol than this one. It does, I don't think it has the nose as the other one. It's not as sweet. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, so it's it's hundred and twenty point six proof. In the in the wow. it's alcohol by percent, so it's sixty point three. That line before is like a percent sign, I think. On, on the left? Yeah, because on the back it says, can you zoom in on that? It says 60.3. So it's 120 proof, man. I would have never guessed that. It drinks like a low proof, like 100 proof. Like, like a 103. If you told me this is 103, I would believe it. The nose is not as good, but the palate's a little better. The palate's better, but I don't think the finish is as good. Somehow the finish isn't long. That's weird. The palate is the best part of this one. Yeah. How interesting where the palate, or we, well, in our opinion, the palate would be the best on the cast strength, but yet we think the finish is better on the 88 proof. That's interesting. It's, That's really this is interesting. absolutely delightful, though. So this one's still called the burning chair, but then the store pick is dubbed uh, cowboy hat. Mm. So I'm not... And what's the price point on this one? Oh, shoot. I don't remember. Do you remember? Was it 70? I believe. I think it was around 70, but check out Haskell's. I might, I'll, I think I'll put Haskell's um, link in the description You really here. should, because, you know, you get some great bottles from there. So, this is weird. On the back, it says 45% Zinfandel, 40% Cabernet Sauvignon, and 15% Grenache. Is that a type of wine? It must be a type of wine, Grenache. Yeah, sure. So, I don't know if they're splitting it up to three barrels and then blending it later. That's curious. Boy, yeah, this check guy, out Haskell's. This guy's having a blast, whatever hey, he's doing, he's man. blending, huh? Oh man, I think I love them. I can't wait to try these wines. Yeah, I'm really excited too. Let us know if you tried these or any other ones. Like we said, we're gonna do the second glance and then this is the lip service. The lip service is the rye. Second glance is what, a blended whiskey? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're gonna get the the Haskell store pick, the cash strength of which one? Second glance. Second glance, so that'll be interesting. That's a little creepy, huh? Yeah, I don't like that. Picture. That's a. How did they get you to pose for that? I wonder if there's. Um, a story they didn't. That's it. obviously not my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there's a story behind 
I want to know. I want to meet Dave Finney, Tour the Distillery. What do you think? I think that sounds like a great idea. So would you get this again? Would you keep it in stock? I would get both of these again. Yeah, well, this is 44. I would definitely keep I, this in stock. We typically don't buy a lot of 88 proof whiskeys. No. It, it, I don't think we have any right now at the house, but I'm telling you, this is what I would get. I would keep this one in stock. It's a reasonable price. It's a it's a low proof, so you could drink, you know, more than one in. Yeah, usually I don't like low proof, but Same I here. like this a lot, and I like that Wyoming whiskey. That's an 88 For a low proof. proof. It's funny, you, we always go back to the Wyoming whiskey when we talk low proof whiskey. And the other one is the Lost Monarch, which is a low proof whiskey yep. that I recently fell in love with. So interesting. Yeah, I would definitely keep this in stock. Yeah. Um, I forgot to get a quote for today. What? Yeah. But maybe it will be fitting since it is to February 3rd to use this. And the three men I admired the most. The Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. They took the last train for the coast. The day. The music died. Everyone, thank you so much. We really <laughs> appreciate you. Cheers. Cheers Come back everybody. next time.